as the awareness comes and you start to identify these things, you start to realize that, that you're not an individual entity capable of creating things as an individual. As you start to realize that and you fall into acceptance of what is and fall into this place of just pure being and surrendering to what is as that starts to sink in and you realize that space opens up from this contraction that you're con continuously trying to have an intention to um, improve things or an intention to get what you want, or you're trying to use the power of mind to manipulate things to go your way and controlling things, basically, it's control, as well as really focusing on positive or focusing on negative or whatever that is, you are pulling back. You're just from hands on, you're just going into just pushing back and relaxing. You're kicking back. You're just going into this mode. You shifted your position. Again, rather than being on top of it, constantly being in control, you're just kind of kicking back. You shift it. And what happens, what is this shift you're kicking back is, as I mentioned, accepting of what is, accepting of whatever is happening in your life, in the world, in your surrounding, accepting it and surrendering to that which is running the world, that which makes this planet to turn around itself and turn around the sun. You're surrendering to that which turns the day into night and night to day. Surrendering to that intelligence that functions your body and does a million different functioning without you knowing anything about it. Surrendering to that which also operates all the, in the, in the animal kingdom and vegetable kingdom, operating them. You're surrendering to that. So you're shifting your position. What happens is, space opens up so from here that's very contracted you are pulling back to a relaxed mode and all of a sudden space starts to open and in that opening of space wisdom starts to come in wisdom pours in you and the more this function is happening and it kind of appears like you're doing it, but you're not even doing that anyway. But as if this transaction is placing, which is the grace only happens through the grace. Grace is coming to your life or grace is appearing and showing itself to you, whether it's in the form of your teacher or it's happening as a natural uh, process of life or you're reading a book or you went to a workshop or you had an accident and you're going to this realization, whatever way it's happening, doesn't matter. And you're just surrendering to what is in this opening of space, infinite possibilities become available anything can happen 
and the magic of life begins to reveal itself to you. Magical things starts to happen. Incredible things that beyond your imagination begin to happen. The quality of your life begin to change. You start to realize that your quality of life have increased and slowly, slowly it changes for better. It doesn't mean that For example, you have found powers of manipulating to make more money or getting what you want. That doesn't mean, you know, you still have to go to work and you still have to make your money if, you know, uh, you still have to take care of your kids or your home or whatever, whatever you do, you still have to continue doing what you're doing. That doesn't mean all of a sudden you're rich or all of a sudden you have no work, no responsibilities. No, but the quality of it changes because understanding has taken place and your mind's becoming, your mind is becoming more quiet because you're not involved in it so much of trying to make things happen. You're allowing things to happen And you may be in this, a part of this function that it appears that you made something happen. So it happened through you and putting an effort into it. It appears to be that way. It could be that way too. That it looks like, oh, because you put some effort in doing something, that thing happened. But yeah, you put effort into doing something that happened, but you did it from an effortless place. You did it from no mind, not from a place of controlling. And then you see, wow, how easy things come, come, how easy things are matching up. You see the wisdom in it. Even when things don't go your way, even things fall apart you see like it always happens in perfection and there's a wisdom in it that even when you don't get what you want and things don't go your way you start to see the wisdom in it because there is existence definitely knows what you need and what needs to be done so you're surrendering to the power that knows you very well and better than you know yourself. You're surrendering to that which knows all your secrets, all your desires. Consciously and unconsciously. It knows a lot better than you and I. So you're surrendering to it. So it provides. It does provide for you. And you see the miracle of life. It's very fascinating. It's very fascinating to get to that place in your spiritual growth that to this point to start seeing the rhythm, start seeing and touching this and recognizing it. And then you just become the observer. You're simply watching how things unfold, how things are being created and how things are being destroyed, both functioning of the same energy, creation and destruction, both happening by the same force. And then you see the wisdom in it. You may not understand it, but you see that there is wisdom in it. Something is very well aware of what what it's doing. And life becomes more your question starts to drop. You're not questioning things so much 